Welcome to the game. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and I hate to toot my own horn, but... Oops, sorry, that wasn't mine. There we go, that one's mine. I'd really appreciate it if sometime during the game you four broke into a spontaneous conga line. Handle those screws carefully. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Kale Mart! If you find a single thing in our store that is not associated with kale, it's free! Kale Mart! We don't even know what kale is, and we don't care! Pick the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to win a fabulous prize and big cash. <laughs> okay, let's get this show on the road. Get ready, time for question! To get started, mail enhancement. Just taking a moment to open my mail. Something I like to do every couple of years. Hmm, probably should have paid that. Ah, an old Christmas card. Well, let's see what it says inside. Well, it's been a big year for the whole family. Junior learned to drive, mom changed jobs, and dad started a drug empire cooking and selling high-quality methamphetamine. Hmm, what TV family is this Christmas card from? The greens, the browns, the blacks, or the whites? Why, yes, this card is from Walter and Skylar White and their son Walt Jr. from the show Breaking Bad. <laughs> And I'd read you the rest of the letter, but it's full of spoilers. May I introduce... Positive Feedback. What might you hear from a kingfisher that's fishing for compliments? So, did anybody notice I just got my scales waxed? So, did you guys see I'm wearing my fur differently? So, how does everyone like my new gill tattoo? Or, isn't anybody gonna mention my new feather do? Players 3 and 4. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Player 1. What a pity. Ah! Player 2. A kingfisher is a type of bird. You know, those things with feathers. Wow, talk about a needy, insecure bird. Oh my god, it's been 15 minutes. Somebody tell me I'm handsome. Interns, somebody tell me I'm handsome. You're handsome, sir. So handsome, Mr. Masterson. Oh, let's never cut it that close again. Dance with me, Disco 3. Take a good look at... Lucy in the sky with rubles. And oh yes, it's a dis or dat. Player 3? Why don't you take this dis or dat since you need the most help? I'm gonna read off seven quotes totally out of context. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's something said by legendary pop star Elton John or something said by Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin. If it was said by Elton John, press the square button. If it was said by Vladimir Putin, press the circle button. Now, I need the rest of you to pay attention. Lock in your answers before player three. If player three gets it wrong, I'll split up that cash to everyone who got it right. Alrighty then, here it comes. I do what I go to the I'm a I do what I do in a no, I guess that's why they call it the blues. Look, there is a lot of political turmoil in the world. We must trust Elton John's song, The Circle of Life. It's a simple philosophy that says this. No matter what happens, we can rest assured that one day, Vladimir Putin will be eaten by a lion. And on its way, I hunger for love. If each member of the Hunger Games love triangle brought something different to the relationship, which of these arrangements would actually result in Katniss catching fire? Katniss brings air, Peter brings friction, and Gale brings time. Katniss brings friction, Peter brings fuel, and Gale brings inert gas. Katniss brings You got a player for pick some of the screw. 
Ouch. Player four. Did you want to do that to yourself? I only ask because most people like to keep their cash. Can we continue now? Player one. How do you say, uh, no? Player two. You'll rue the day. <laughs> Player three. The so-called fire triangle outlines what is needed to start and maintain fire, which is heat, fuel, and oxygen. Remove one, no fire. <laughs> but I'm sure you could get rid of PETA and it would still be hot. Five fingers! Here we have... One show down, 14,312 to go. And I'll throw some extra roses at you for a right answer. Put these Broadway musicals in order of longest to shortest original runs. Grease, Rent, Spamalot. Rent, Grease, Spamalot, Spamalot, Rent, Grease, Rent, Spamalot, Grease, or Grease, Rent, Spamalot. Players 2 and 4. Opening in 1996, Rent ran for 12 years, Grease opened in 1972 and ran for 8 years, and Spamalot opened in 2005 and had a 5 year run. One grand bonus to each of you for getting that one. Of course, none of these tops the musical Cats, which ran for 233 straight years. Hard to believe, but true. Good for them. Players 1 and 3? That was quality. <laughs> Round 1 is complete, and it looks like player 2 has the lead. Let's see if they stay there. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round 2. And let's see some screwing out there. You're being too nice. Try this on for size. Chucky balls. I just love Chuck E. Cheese. Especially those big ball pits with all the colorful balls that I, uh, uh, kids jump around in. So tell me this. Imagine, just hypothetically, that each color ball in a Chuck E. Cheese ball pit were a different virus. When you dive in, which ball could you definitely not come into contact with? A ball that causes polio, a ball that causes herpes, a ball that causes rabies, or a ball that causes plague? Player 1 <laughs> Players 2, 3, and 4 Herpes, polio, and rabies are all caused by a virus. Plague is caused by a bacteria, so none of those virus balls could give you plague. Plague is spread by rodents, but luckily not singing animatronic rodents like the ones you find at Chuck E. Cheese. Hey, anyone want to go to Chuck E. Cheese after the game? Question 7! Up next, Leafy Laughter. Imagine an episode of Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis being filmed with a set of two new freshly sprouted ferns. Based on the name for fern sprouts, what might be a better name for that episode? Between Two Saplings with Zach Galifianakis? Between Two Pup Shoots with Zach Galifianakis? Between Two... F player One, who do you want to screw? G Player One, did you intend to do that to yourself? Cause now I gotta do this. Okay, can we try this again, please? Player three. So wing and a miss. Player four. I'm gonna vote die on this one. Player two. A fern sprout is called a fiddlehead based on its shape, which resembles the top of, you guessed it, a fiddlehead. And like Zach Galifianakis, they take about 40 years to fully blossom. Here's a good one. Escargot for Margot. Okay, guys, I've got a theory, and I think it's pretty solid. Follow me on this. The movie Key Largo came out in 1948, and the next major Argo movie was Fargo. So there may have been a secret Argo embargo. Ergo, how long was the next Argo embargo between Fargo and Argo? 7 years, 12 years, 17 years, or 22 years? Alright, player two, let me know who's getting screwed. Player 4, you are so 
screwed. You got five seconds. What? No. Player two, that was some mighty fine screwing. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Players one, two, and three. <laughs> no. Where's that confounded right answer? Fargo came out in 1996 and Argo in 2013. Ergo, a 17-year Argo movie embargo. And you know what never went out of style that entire time? Cargo pants. This one's called To Be or Not To Be Arthur. Hi, this is Corky, and how about them Golden Girls, huh? Old man, what the hell are you doing? Get away from the microphone. But I need to ask a question. G give me, oh, give damn me, it, I, give me that. No, Listen I got to me, you stupid old. Give, give it to me. Ow. What's that thing? Who's that fella? Where's that screwy up do do do? It's Foggy Facts with Old Man. Screwy -scru -scru up do. I forget. All right, all right. <sighs> Just one question, and then you are out of here. Okay, two questions, great. One question! All right, all right, don't get your panties in a... <laughs> whatever. I'm just trying to remember this one thing. Hmm. I'm trying to think of this lovely singing gentleman. He was friends with those Muppet puppets, and he lived in Colorado. He talked to God in all those movies, and then he died in a plane crash. Now he's probably talking to the real God. <laughs> Who the heck was that guy? Okay, was it Engelbert Humberdink, Jim Croce, Harry Belafonte, or John Denver? <laughs> Not much time left. Players one and two. Yes, old man, it's country folk singer songwriter John Denver. You're talking about John Denver. I'm not talking about him, you are. Why were you trying to remember John Denver, old man? I wasn't. What are you talking about? You just commandeered this game to ask a question about him. Who? John Denver. <laughs> Never heard of him. Too little boy. Ah! Coming up, Menage a Treat. Who would not be invited to a Neapolitan threesome? Vanilla Ice, Strawberry Shortcake, The Band Sexual Chocolate, or Liz Lemon? <laughs> Neapolitan ice cream consists of strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, but not lemon. So Liz Lemon would not be invited. <laughs> Remember, approaching a threesome is just like eating ice cream. If you go at it too quickly, you might damage the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong, and don't ever forget... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Watch this Peter P. Who's the Peter P? Good luck!
2 has it! I hope everyone was watching Player 2, because that's how you play the game. Oh, and this is what the game is called. You don't know Jack! I just showered, but I still smell kind of funky. Did you remember to clean your entire body? Well, I mean, I tried, but there are so many body parts to remember. That's why you need the shower list. The shower list? A helpful list of all your body parts that need to be cleaned. It's just a little piece of paper. Yes, but it's waterproof. So I can take it in the shower. Let's see. I washed that, I washed that, I washed those. Okay, yeah, I forgot my butt. Use the shower list and never forget to wash your butt or any other part of your body ever again. Thanks. Don't thank me. Thank shower list. Thanks, shower list. Now, could you get out of my shower? Ooh, yeah. Sorry. I'm just passionate about the product. Hey, Jerry. Doing a little yard work? Oh, yeah. Just got some new garden gnomes. New garden? Oh my, look at the size of that garden gnome's d Oh, I see you noticed my gnome's giant package. I should have mentioned, these aren't regular garden gnomes. They're well-endowed garden gnomes from Gnome My. I bought the whole set. There's Python Petey, Busty Barbara, and my personal favorite, Giant Balls McGillicuddy. So, what do you think, Raj? I... I can't look away. Hey, boys, what you talking about? Sarah, don't come over here. Hi, Daddy. Ooh. Kids, get in the house! No my well-endowed garden gnomes from the people who brought you lawn globes with nipples.